We are going to go over seven 2023 design trends to help you keep up with the demand. Now, it doesn't mean you have to learn each of these ways of designing, but nevertheless, it's really a good idea to be aware of them. The first is 3D. 3D has been, still is, and will continue to be a trend of graphic design. If motion graphics evolved from the static images, then three-dimensional renderings are the natural evolution from two-dimensional assets. But nowadays, 3D is everywhere. With the growing demand for making that design pop or stand out, 3D has made that very possible. 3D artwork software has come a long way in recent years. Tools like Cinema 4D and even Adobe updates are making it possible to use 3D in designs more easily and start Start making your own three-dimensional artwork as well. Also, as we head further into the metaverse, 3D graphics will continue as a strong trend, and that growing demand for virtual reality experiences and realistic graphics that pull the viewer in will continue to evolve across all industries. Next is two-dimensional branded illustrations. Branded illustrations is a very unique illustration style used by brands to share concepts and employ this style as a way of recognition. And when it's done right, it can quickly become representative of the brand themselves. Brands like MailChimp, Google, and Dropbox are all examples of this, but it's not limited to just huge brands. Illustrations can be seen everywhere nowadays, even when brands never had these before in their branding. Third is custom type and serif typefaces. Hand lettering and custom fonts have been around for a long time, but we're now seeing more and more big and brands using these in their designs. By adjusting existing letters or creating new fonts from scratch, hand lettering can add a unique flair to your design work and give your branding efforts a real boost in creativity and character. Additionally, since 2020, serifs are back. And now there was a big trend with sans serifs that came about where everyone was using sans serifs as their go-to font. But now people are getting lost and everybody looks the same, so serif fonts are coming back. They're elegant, they look stylish, they're nostalgic, and more importantly, brands so often use sans serif fonts and serif immediately catches the eye, like in this ebook example. Serif fonts still convey sophistication, but they're becoming more playful and unpredictable in a way to shake them up. Then there's branding photography. Now, photography is a big part of design, both online and offline. It's important to use photography that fits the message you're trying to communicate with your design. So in the past, this has often meant just using stock photos that are flat and lifeless. But now more and more designers are using their own original photography or finding creative ways to use existing photos. Photography brings about a human touch. And while illustration can always help a brand to be what it is, photography can make people feel more connected to the brand with that human realistic element. Now this could be anything from a full page photo in a magazine to a hero image on a website. And it's not just product photos that are being used, but also photos of people, nature, and other things that can help tell a story or evoke an emotion. This trend is only going to continue in the next few years as businesses try to stand out from the competition. So we can expect to see more innovative ways of photography being used, including 3D images, interactive elements, and virtual reality. Next is eco-friendly, sustainable design. Design trends are set very much by cultural changes. And since branding is that connection on an emotional level, a good design trend will match that of a cultural movement. And one of the most prominent and important cultural movements of this past decade is environmental awareness. People nowadays more than ever are demanding brands to be held responsible for the footprint that they leave in the environment. And with this, we have a very key design trend, the sustainable, eco-friendly design. And more and more brands are taking steps to showcase their responsibility and their commitment to being sustainable. This can be seen from the way their packaging is made to the elements they use in the design, including the use of modern, natural, earthy colors, earthy tones, handmade illustrations, and characteristic typography. And these are just some of the main elements that brings you closer to nature than most other styles do. It works great for organic products and businesses that care about the planet and conveys a certain honesty about that company. Next is retro art. 
The 90s look in particular will be making a strong comeback. Those who grew up in the 90s are now in this position to make a change, including people in the graphic design and marketing industry. So in the wake of the whole pandemic, people will look for familiar styles to serve as a comfort, and the retro look of the 90s fulfills that while also bringing a unique flavor of its own. In 2023, many designers are turning to minimal line art to create illustrations that are humorous and fun. And this is a retro style that recreates that nostalgic memory of drawing with felt tip markers. The simplicity of the line art lends itself to a cartoonish style like those thick outlines, which is why the trend is a natural fit for more lighthearted projects. And because these drawings are so minimal, they can handle ultra bright colors without overwhelming the viewer. They are used to enhance that retro effect and many designers pair these illustrations with throwback bubble fonts and design features, reminiscing of those vintage magazine ads like oval borders and starburst stickers. Finally, we have clean minimalistic. Now this can be seen between illustration, typography, packaging, websites, logos, and more. There's a nice style to it that adds a sophistication with this minimal touch. We especially see this in the tech cosmetics and more corporate designs that want to look conservative and professional. A big way to apply this is the aesthetic use of lots of white space. Apple was a huge player in making this minimalistic style popular and it just has not gone away. So which of these is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below and thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.